It's funny how the smallest adjustment to a skate can make a huge difference. Now I've tried a bunch of skates and usually the problem is the forward lean is too much. With these Faction Tactical V1s, it was the opposite and that's never happened before. So these are the Tactical V1s from Faction. I got these last week. I went out to the compound and picked them up. I was a pre-order. Full disclosure, I paid for these skates out of my own pocket. They are not given to me, but I was one of the first to order them, so I'm one of the first to get them. So the forward lean on a carbon shell, most carbon shells with a flat sole, comes from an internal shock absorber. So inside this boot, there is a shock absorber, something made out of a squishy material that helps you lean forward a little bit. It also helps when you're landing gaps or jumping off of ledges. You get a little bit of a heel cushion, so the impact isn't so much. Now, I don't know which method is best, but the way the USD Carbon does it is they have an insole that is a little thicker in the heel than it is in the front, and that gives you the forward lean. And since for years I skated the USD Carbon as my safety skate, I took the insoles out of those skates and I put them in these tactical V1s to see if it makes a difference. I have also upgraded my Faction skates with the Fruit Tech hardware. So Fruit Tech is a hardware company that makes replacement bolts. They have cuff bolts, they have sole plate bolts, they have UFS bolts. They have all the bolts that you would need to put your skates together and they make them better. So these are replaced with Torx heads. They are a star looking bit, which makes them a little bit easier to loosen and tighten. I actually stripped one of the bolts when I was taking the stock bolts off of the sole plates. So thankfully, as soon as I took it off, I was able to swap in some Fruit Tech hardware with the, the Torx head, and I don't think I'm gonna have that problem again. So my three goals for today. First, I am out at Durham Skate Park. It has been a while since I've been out at Durham. This is usually where I do my first impressions video. And because I drove up to the compound to get my skates, I didn't do my first impressions here. I did it at the compound. So I'm gonna do my first impressions video. I'm gonna do all of my airs, all of my grinds, all of the things that I usually do to test out a skate and see if they hold up to what I found at the compound. My second goal. Durham is on the move. They've been expanding this skate park. They're building some apartments right over there. And as a deal with the city, the apartment contractor had to build an addition to the skate park. So there's this new area that has seating. It's kind of designed as like a stadium seating sort of place for events and for comps, I guess. But the entire seating area is coping. So it's not coping, coping, it's angle iron but it is grindable. I've never skated up there. Technically, we're not supposed to. There's still fencing up, but there is a huge hole in the fence. I'm gonna go in there, and I'm gonna try to do all my grinds, see how this new ledge feels. And my third goal. I know this is ambitious, but I did the down rail, little down rail at the mini street section at Compound. I was able to back farve it. I would love to do a hand rail here at the skate park. There are some pretty small ones, and I've done them before. I've done Royale on them before. I think I could back farve them. I'm looking at it right now. It looks low enough. It looks like I could get on it. We'll see how today goes, but that is my stretch goal. If I can get through the first two, I'm gonna give it a try. But first, it's time to warm up. Nice and warm. Uh, these skates, very, uh, very floppy, <laughs> like squishy, like uh, mushy, which I don't think I got that impression when I was at the compound because I wasn't skating. You know, the amount of strides that I was taking, very minimum, uh, mostly just dropping in and pumping. Here, when I'm actually striding, I'm getting a lot of heel lift, a lot of wiggle inside the skate. I feel like maybe the shell break 
I should have gone down to the size 10 brake and then put my intuition liners in this shell brake because I think there's a little bit too much room inside this shell for me to, uh, to get a good responsive ride. Now obviously it's an aggressive boot so it's designed for aggressive grind, grinds and stuff like that. So a little bit of mush isn't a bad thing but I do have some concerns if I'm ever going to skate these with big wheels. I think the bottom section is supportive enough. I think that my foot maybe should have been in a size 10 instead of a size 11 shell. So the shell brake would be at 11 or 10. So these are technically a size 11 with a 10 and a half shell or 10 and a half liner. Um, but I tell you what, no problem with uh, soles, uh, no problem with Royales. Took a little getting used to to dial it in. It's been a while since I've jumped on any ledges. It's mini ramp days, it's, you know, that's basically it. Pumping and jumping on uh, coping. And uh, that doesn't give me a lot of practice for jumping, but once I dialed it in, felt good. Um, this ledge, you know, as you can see, there's a 90 degree angle behind me. It is hard to get speed, but that is where my second goal comes. This whole big ledge up on top looks perfect for long controlled grinds. This ledge is a little bit taller than I thought it would be. It is about the height of Marsh, which is a pretty tall ledge. Probably 18, maybe 20 inches. Not bad, but it's a lot more of a jump than the ledge that I warmed up on. So it takes a little bit of time to get used to that, especially since I haven't really skated street in a long time, haven't had to jump in a long time. Um, one of the issues with a ledge like this, as beautiful as it is, there's so much to grind that you don't know where to grind. <laughs> it's like trying to watch something on Netflix where you spend 20 minutes looking for something to watch because there's so much content. I don't know where to grind because there's so many places that I can grind. I found a spot that's like 10 feet long. I waxed that up and unfortunately it's been raining pretty heavily this week here. So there's a lot of rust on top. I think this ledge is gonna be perfect once it gets broken in, but right now it's accumulating a lot of rust so we're gonna to need to come in with some sandpaper, take that down, put another coat of wax on, maybe even spray some gloss on top, some transparent gloss and wax it all up so that it's nice and fast. These sole plates, man, they are wide. So take everything with a grain of salt. It's been a long time since I've skated a street like this uh, and had to jump at a ledge. But last time I kept slipping off of a mistrial like that was because the sole plate on the USD7 was so wide that I was having a hard time getting over it. If you're used to your standard rolling over on a sole foot, the, the wider the sole plate, the more difficult it is to stay on without slipping off. And I was doing that over and over and over again with my mistrial. I would lock on and it would just slip off, slip off, slip off. Never had a problem at the compound because it was coping. If you have coping, you don't have that problem. But if you're on a ledge like this, you're gonna slip off, absolutely. All right, gonna try some groove tricks. See if I can uh, Royale and backfarve and all those things. This ledge is gonna be pretty fun. I ain't gonna lie. Um, it slides great. You know, getting on with my back fire first try, um, I could tell that it's just one of those ledges that eventually everything's going to be nice and clean. We'll be able to just skate fast and just grind for as long as you want, surfing the long wave, right? I did struggle a little bit getting boot down on my Royale, more from a trust perspective. I'm used to the Adapt Stealth, and with the Adapt, 
because it's a carbon boot, you really have to lock perfectly. And the first time that I locked perfectly, I kind of slipped out, washed out a little bit. With these skates, you don't have to lock perfectly. You just have to lock in your outside edge. And then because it's a little bit squishier, just like the USD Carbon or any plastic boot, you're able to push down. So there's like a second level. You lock on outside edge and then you squish down and squat your body to squat down and get into a Royal pose. That took a little bit of practice, especially backside. But as soon as I trusted my front side, backside came pretty quickly. All right. Um, I think I'm going to try this rail. I know it's crazy, uh, but I think I got it. Uh, my back five is no issue. I don't know how fast it's going to go, but I really want to try it. It's one of those things that I look at all the time and I know that I can do. I just never had the guts to do it and can't think of a better day than today. today. Nerves are getting to me. Jumping out to a rail is scary. Um, I don't have any problems jumping out to a ledge. I think there's that comfort that if I miss I could just sit down on it and uh, I think the fact that there's an incline next to it helps me with confidence too. This is a little intimidating for me right now. Not to say I won't do it. Uh, I definitely know that I can. I just need to get the confidence to jump out to it. Um, Good session. I really enjoyed skating today. Um, I think these skates are very pillowy, very mushy is a negative word, but flexy. Um, I feel like you can get all of your tricks. Uh, I have not done any topside tricks. I'm really bad at topside tricks, so I haven't tried them yet, but I feel like I'll be able to do them and I'll, I'll give them a shot next time and see if I can get them down. Uh, but yeah, first day back skating actual jumping to ledges session and uh, it feels really good. I'm gonna be skating these for about a month. Uh, I'm gonna try different liners, different insoles, different frames, different configurations to see what works best for me. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with them. Um, they are not perfect. I don't think there's very many skates that are perfect out of the box, but they might be perfect for you. I think that the super wide sole plate is a bit distracting for me. Yeah, I could grind it down, but it's a little, little too wide, a little excessive. Um, the squish inside, feel like my foot's moving around a lot more than I like. Get a little bit of heel lift, which isn't a good feeling. Um, those are things that, especially when you're skating big wheels, are probably going to be highlighted as issues. Uh, but for skating aggressive, you know, it's not bad. Uh, the Royales are good. The sole is wide, but it slides great. And uh, they're super comfortable. Uh, make sure that you subscribe so that you can see all of the videos coming up with the Faction uh, Tactical V1. I'll be skating these for about a month and uh, hope that you uh, join me. Uh, hope you have a great weekend. Hope you get out and skate and uh, I'll see you next week.